Man, this all season, uh, probably been the most enjoyable one for me. Probably about two, two all seasons. I was healthy. Uh, my energy was right. Uh, just being able to move, being able to jump. Been able to really get after it, perfect my craft meant a lot to me. The last two off I ain't been able to do much because I've been really injured, especially the last one. It was just literally rehab. I didn't get to touch a ball. So this one, I, I really got to embrace the grind, get back to the core of the game, the love of the game. I just had a lot of fun. I was smiling more uh, and just really uh, taking advantage of every moment, whether it was conditioning, Running, getting up shots, getting to the rim, um, just just embracing the whole process, uh, and it just gave me a new energy for this season and for the game. Uh, I just was more connected to ever because I didn't want to take it for granted. Um, I knew what it was like not being able to really get after it the last two off seasons, so that was the biggest thing for me, really more attention, more dedication, not just on the court, but just watching film. A lot of time in the house in the summer, I wasn't even really watching TV. I was on YouTube just watching, watching different players, watching myself, watching film, just trying to get better. So it, it made me really excited. Like I said, it got me really rejuvenated and just looking forward to this season. Hopefully I could just stay healthy so I can go out there and just perform at a high level because the work I've already been put in so I know what I'm gonna be able to do and what I'm what I'm really capable of. Okay. <laughs> oh well Every all uh, it means a lot to me. I always wanted to be a baseball star, so this would be my first opportunity towards that uh, dream. <laughs> yeah, that's all I need to see. They put the five and the three on there. That's crazy. Let me win MVP in there. Definitely get the frame. Celebrity MLB game for the uh, All Star break. I always wanted to play baseball when I was young. I didn't never get to get a chance to play organized baseball because I was always so busy with basketball. Um, Met some cool people. Met uh, Tim Kirk, and I used to watch him all the time. Have you played a little, a lot, not at all? <laughs> I played a little bit in my neighborhood, but I never played organized. Before. Right. DK told me he's never played before, yeah. ever. So I understand, but being a great actor like you, you'll, you'll pick this up, right? Oh yeah, cause I, like right. I said, I played in my neighborhood. We right. used to have baseball games, but I never played organized right. recreational you, baseball. Have you been in I played in this game in 2018. It's the stupidest thing you'll ever do, yeah. and it'll be so much fun. Yeah. Okay. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Good luck today. Okay. My Todd right, throw me a straight little, just a little straight underhand joint shot to go crazy. Out. <laughs> hey, this man said he's about to go to. Hey, you heard him. You heard him. Let's see. Tell you. You gotta be like uh, baby. So to get out there on the real field, swing the bat a little bit, playing the outfield, <laughs> it was it was it was fun. So uh, I wasn't I was alright too. So if I would have probably played when I was young, probably be in the MLB myself. Probably would have been at the All Star game. <laughs> What's up, man? You good? Yeah, I'm all right. Good man. to see you. So. Oh, you always important to have the kids with me just because my job especially during the season is hard to see them a lot especially as much as I want to always traveling um, you gotta I gotta pretty much wait for a, a long home stand to get them for it to make 
to make sense. You don't want to just get them for a day and then they got to fly back out. Okay, okay. So they had an off season, had them with me for a long extended amount of time, all of them. Yeah. It always just puts me in a good place. It, it, it gives me great energy just to know that I'm around them, doing things for them, spending time with them, and just, you know, had them running around the house because they're young right now. Um, it's just a blessing, man. Uh, just puts me in good spirits, gets my day going, and give me something, you know, when I'm going to my workout, just to, you know, have something to um, push through. When I'm tired, my second or third workout, um, I don't really want to do it, or I'm going through something. They just give me motivation to just, you know, something I'm doing it for to be able to provide for them. Not only that, for them to, you know, look up to when they get older and saying that, you know, I gave him all I strive to, you know, be my best. And I put a lot of work in, so hopefully they'll understand that as they get older and it, it carries over to them. But just give them something to look up to, basically. To be honest with you, that one year that shit happened in the playoffs, that was like a blessing in disguise. Cause I remember after that, I was so fucked up about it. But that summer, it made me go back to the old me. Yeah. It was like, why we came in this shit in the beginning. I never came to please no fans or play for nobody. You feel what I'm saying? It was like, when I first got there trying to turn it around and then I got paid, it was like, I, I tell people, it's almost, it's almost like your parents' situation. You want to do so good because you want your parents to love you. You feel what I'm saying? And that's how I was approaching that shit. Once I got in the demo and we turned around, I was like, damn, we just turned this shit around. I just want to keep doing good so they can love me, love me, love me. But. It don't go like that. And I'm happy that happened because now it was like, I can just play free. Now, I, you almost be like, I know they don't like me. So it was like, fuck it. I might as well go out there and just do me now instead of going out there trying to play for them and they still don't like you. All right, I might as well just go do me because they ain't gonna like me regardless. So now I might as well just go out there and just play the way I play. And then you say in the next year, I had a career year. Yeah. Good. Oh, reset, reset, reset. Yeah, yeah. That's the last two fall apart. Here we go. Two more. Yep, two more. Drive that knee out more. Yeah. Drive that left knee out more. There you go. Good. 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 One more each. Get it. Nice shot. So today we worked on starting with a total body assessment, and making sure we looked at the whole body from joint to joint, looking for any imbalances right versus left, and making sure we know what we wanna work on so we can establish a really nice strong foundation before we get going in this off season. So uh, we began a little bit of some tissue work, working on just opening up the hip mobility, uh, and kind of just getting everything uh, open and loose. And then from there we began with some hip activation exercises, and then began working on Corrective biomechanic movements, uh, working on anti-valgus movements, working on keeping the knee in good alignment, and then beginning stability and balance training to work on just overall coordination. I think Will did great for his first day. Um, I'm really excited to continue to work with him. I think that we saw some real good improvements from just the beginning of the session to the end in terms of the hip mobility we opened up looked amazing. You know, even just walking over to Jimmy felt great, he said, so that's awesome. Uh, and then when we got into the balance stuff, it was a real challenge just stepping up onto that BOSU, but by the end we were incorporating lateral movements and side to side rotation and ball slams and external forces. So I'm really excited. I think it's a really good first day. I think we're gonna get to hopefully new levels for, for him this year. Hey, Tim. <laughs> that gave in. Young legend. Dr. Reeves working with him was so unique this summer. Um, never worked with him before. Um, and I'm always, you know, like skeptical of working with new people, bringing new people around. But it was dope, man. Um, me and him really established a great relationship. Um, 
he's just a dope person to be around, good energy every day, um, teaching me new things, uh, being patient with me, but uh, pushing me at the same time. We did a lot of core stability things. There's something that's something that I need to work on and something that I really never focused and caned in on. And we did a lot of that and I got much better from where I was to where I am now. I can see the results. I also worked on like staying low so when I'm in a defensive slide or attacking, just being able to stay low for a long amount of time. Just a pure bucket. <laughs> After this shit came second and third. Scoring that motherfucker carry first. <laughs> and we did conditioning, of course. Uh, it just got stronger, man. Dr. Reef, uh, one of the best in the world at what he does. And we got a lot of work in. Got a lot better. He gave me a lot of good energy. Uh, we kind of fed off each other, and it was just great days in the gym and working hard. Even the tough days were still great days because we just, he just pushing me, helped me to get better. Good. 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 